Hi guys, um, this is more of a like serious video, more sad. Um, if I look around, I don't normally do that shit in my videos, but like I, I'm 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 just going through it. I'm really going through it. This year has been rough on me. It's been really rough. Um, I've dealt with a lot of loss. I've dealt with a lot of loss this year so far. And just, it just seems like it's just something after the, like, it's just like something else is happening right after, it's just like back to back to back. I'm physically tired. I'm mentally tired. I'm just overall just tired like it's even getting to the point where it's affecting my job like I don't even want to be there half the time I don't I'm so irritated like I get so I get very irritable but just what's going on with me just makes me very irritable and I'm just like I'm ready for like my contract to be up like now it's like I don't I'm I'm ready to go. I'm really ready to go. And I'm wondering like do I just jump into another job or do I just kinda take a minute to kinda just you know, not too long to kinda just gather myself together because I feel like what's going on with me, it just won't be good for me if I just, just jump into another job because I just my head won't be in it. You know what I'm saying? But I don't want to be out of work too long just because I still need to make money. You know, I still need to make money. I still need to live. But like, I, I just sometimes I just feel like I just need a moment to kind of just get away from everything. I don't know. But basically, like, just this year, like, obviously, it's been a year since my mom died. Um,. And, you know, dealing with that is, is still difficult. It's only been a year. And a lot happened with me last year. I lost my mom. I moved. I had to get adjusted to moving. I had to get adjusted to my new city and, you know, working. And then just working during a pandemic mm -hmm. was difficult, very stressful. Um... So I ended up leaving because I just wasn't happy with what's going on with my job. Um, and, excuse me, um, I got a new job, obviously. So there was a lot of uh, adjustments I had to make last year. And, you know, this year, still dealing with the loss of my mother. It's been difficult because my mother we were extremely close. Um, if anyone knows me and me like know of my mom, then you would know that like my mother and I were like extremely, extremely close. So it's been hard. It's been very hard. Um, I just remember like on the second, January second, I treated it like it was a regular day. But I just I remember like I had the, I was at the house by myself and then being in fact I was alone I started digging in my thoughts and I just remember having a complete and utter breakdown because it was just brewing up like or especially around the holidays like you know I'm at work and people are all like happy and cheerful and I'm like I'm not with this shit I'm not happy I'm not cheerful like I was really like fuck the holidays fuck christmas fuck all this shit like i was just done so it was just brewing up and then i just had a fucking breakdown and then after that i um two people at my job had caught covid so i made the decision to get tested because i just felt like it was responsible and you know I just not just for myself but my family you know 
So having to be out of work for a week was driving me up the fucking wall because I just stayed in the house for like a week and I was already like low key starting to lose it. And I can only imagine people that have been in the house for like a year. So that was difficult. I mean, obviously I don't have, I didn't, I didn't catch COVID, but still. And then during the time I was self quarantining, my great uncle had passed. Technically he's my great aunt's husband, but still he passed. So I had to deal with that. And then um, my older brother was locked up, but my brother had a lot of health issues. Um, and along with the health issues that he has, while he was in jail, he found out that he was stage three um, with prostate cancer. He like His cancer had already came back, but what made the situation more difficult was that when he was in jail, like the jail wasn't taking care of him they wouldn't let him take his um like his treatments he couldn't go to chemo like none of that shit so you know it was and then he contracted covid like i legit thought my brother was gonna die in jail i legit thought he was gonna die in jail so that was stressing me out a lot because it's like bro i just lost my mom i don't want to lose my brother too you know so that was stressful you know, dealing with family and just that whole situation was a lot to deal with. But he's out, but he still has to, you know, start getting his treatments and stuff like that. So, you know, that's a lot. Um, and then I had a situation with two family members. I'm not going to get into that because that's not, it wasn't dealing with me directly. And it's not my business to tell. Excuse me. Um, so there's that. And then um, my aunt was in the hospital. Um, my aunt, she um, she had uh, she had colon cancer. And the reason why I say had is because last night she had passed away. So my aunt lost her battle with cancer. Um, so which was my mom's sister um so my it was you know my mom my grandmother had four kids it was my aunt my uncle my mom and my aunt and they're both gone um and so that's So um, it's, you know, it's, it's hard because again, I just lost my mom and now I just lost my aunt pretty much the same way. They both, they both got sick around the same time. And, you know, my aunt and my mom, they were close and they looked alike, you know, they looked similar to each other and stuff like that. So. The last time I physically saw her was my mom's funeral. And I remember ta having a conversation with her and she just reminded me so much of my mother. So like even after the funeral, like it was hard to, to talk to her because she reminded me so much of my mom and stuff like that. Like she really did. She reminded me a lot of my mom. And it, you know, it's still kind of, at that time it was still kind of fresh and stuff like that so it was definitely a lot to you know deal with but you know I, I honestly thought you know just the other day I thought that she was doing better but no it just happened quick just like my mom so that's something I have to deal with again losing another family member um I don't know part of me feels like maybe God wanted them to be together I don't know, maybe I'm bugging, but, you know, it's just, 
Yeah, 2021 has not been kind to me at all. At all. I mean, I'm I'm just like I said, I'm just tired. I'm tired. I'm tired of getting bad news. I'm tired of people dying. I'm tired of crying. I'm tired of being sad. I'm just tired. I'm tired. Like, I'm just trying to be optimistic and just thinking that maybe things will be better, but I, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It's like, I just keep getting bad news just right, just back to back. It's just like, now I'm just in here like, what next? And then not only that, um, someone I went to high school with that I was friends with, she passed away a couple weeks ago. Like the day after my great uncle's funeral, I got the news that she passed away as well. So it's just like it's it's, it's I'm dealing with a lot of loss, and you know, but I I am seeing a counselor, but still it's just like you know, like I'm I'm just going through a situational depression. And it's just like, I don't know how to get out of it. I don't. I really fucking don't. And then not only that, like, I got into a situation with a neighbor. It's way too fucking long to explain, but I am um, basically, like, someone left a note on my car, and it was very rude, very nasty, and slightly racist. And I've never dealt with anything like this before, so it was it was a lot, you know what I'm saying? Like just 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 this year so far has been absolute shit to me, and I'm honestly I'm just really unhappy. I'm just unhappy. I don't I don't even know what else to say at this point. I don't. And I really fucking don't. I just think of like two years ago where shit was so different. Shit was so different for me two years ago. But there's, there's no need to really dwell on the past because it's just not going to make it any better, for, honestly, but I don't know. It's, 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 this is just really rough. It's really, really fucking rough for me. Um, like I said, like, I'm, I'm not, I don't know. I feel like I'm rambling on, but like I said, it even affected my job. I don't even want to be there half the time. Like, I don't want to deal with the people at my job. Like, I'm, I just feel like I'm so irritable. Like, I feel like anything will just trigger me. And I don't want to blow up and potentially lose my job. But I feel like I just don't want to be there. Like, I, like, I'm just physically tired. Like, I try to get sleep and stuff like that. But... It's just hard, man. It's really hard to kind of try and get some sleep, and you know, being the fact that I work the night, I work the night shift, and all this other shit. Like, I just don't want to get out of bed because I'm just really fucking tired. I'm just really fucking tired. Yeah. So, um, I don't know. I don't really know what else to add to this, to be honest. Um, but I, I came on here because, like I said, I've, I've been open and honest about my issues with depression before. So I figured now it wouldn't be any fucking different. But 
Like this shit is real. You can look at my face like this this shit is absolutely real. Like this is like this ain't no shit for clout. This ain't shit for attention. Like bro, like this is my life here. This is what the fuck I'm going through. And it's some real shit. This is really some real shit. And I want people to know that. Because I, I, I say this because, like, I remember I got a comment on a video I did, like, years ago. And that, like, I hated dust, but that just irritated me. Because pretty much the person was just trying to say, like, I'm doing it for attention. Like, you don't fucking know me. You don't know me. You don't know what the fuck I've been through unless I come on here and I tell the world. You know what I'm saying? I'm starting to get angry because it's just like, you know what I'm saying? Like that person's comment, even though it was so long ago, but it just it just brought it back. And it's just like, like anyone that sees this video, if you don't got nothing positive to add, then don't fucking leave anything. Don't leave, don't, just don't, don't watch it. Throw a thumbs down and just keep it the fuck pushing. But that comment shit, you can keep it. Because like I said, at the end of the day, this is my fucking life. This is what I live every day. Every fucking day. So this ain't for clout. This is not for attention. This is not for views. Uh, like, look at this fucking channel. I don't even have like 300 fucking subscribers. So obviously not for fucking views. Like, I don't give a fuck about this YouTube shit. Like, just, just don't pay my fucking bills. You know what I'm saying? I'm not that thirsty for YouTube fame or just internet fame in general. But I just want people to know that this is real. This is really real. And I'm not, I know I'm not the only one on this earth that's going through shit like that as well. So I just, I just want people to be mindful of that shit. Really. Because I know I'm not the only one that's going through something difficult, something like a hard point in their lives right now I know I'm not but I just really need people to understand that like I said yeah like I just said like this is real this is really real like if I haven't been real this entire time I'm definitely more real now I've always been open and honest and on this channel but this is really like this is really real, like, like, you want to see my mother's urn, like, you know what I'm saying, like, do you want to see that shit, like, this is not a game, this is not a joke, it's not, so, like I said, if you, if someone watches this and want to be on some fuck shit, you can keep it, just keep it, but, before I get too, before I get even more angry than I'm starting to be, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. So. All right. Now I don't know how to end this shit, so I'm out. Bye.